Okay, so in this video, what we want to determine is, can we factor the sum of two squares? So we know we can factor the difference of two squares. So that we know we can do. And remember, when we first talked about the difference of two squares, um, we looked at a simple example, but in particular, um, the difference of two squares looks like this, and we know that we can factor the difference of two squares as a minus b times a plus b. And then you can always you can always FOIL it out and check to make sure that, that when you combine like terms, you end up with these two binomials. Okay, so, so in other words, a times a, your first, is a squared, a squared. Your outer is a b, a times a positive b is a b. Your inner is a negative b times a, so that's a negative a b. And your last, a negative b times a positive b, a negative b times a positive b, is a negative b squared. And when I combine like terms, these two terms here, they're opposites of each other. So when you add them up, you get zero. So you are left with a squared minus b squared. So, so the difference of two squares can be factored as a minus b times a plus b. Now what we're interested in, though, is this. Can the sum of two squares, in other words, a squared plus b squared, can that be factored? In other words, can I, can I factor it as two binomials like I did the difference of two squares. All right, so that's that's the goal. That's what you're trying to find. Okay, so if you try possibilities, let's say um, uh, I'm going to try a plus b times a plus b, thinking that that might work. Well, let's check. Does it work? All right, well, you're going to do the fall method. First times first is a squared. Um, the outer is a b. The inner is a b, and right away you know it's not going to work because, because this is two terms. When you combine this, you're going to get 2ab. But let's just continue on, and then b times b is b squared. All right, so when I combine like terms, I get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So, so a squared plus b squared cannot, cannot be factored as this because I end up with, with this trinomial um, and not this binomial. And you might say, well, um, what if you did, uh, what, what if you factored it as, as uh, a plus b times a minus b? Well, that wouldn't work either, because remember, that's, that's the factorization for the difference of two squares. So if you fill it out, you'll see that, that you'll end up getting all this back right here, and you'll get um, uh, a squared minus b squared, which this is not. Okay, sorry, this is not. All right, so no matter what you try, no matter what you try, there's no way you'll be able to factor the sum of two squares as a product of two binomials. So, so we say that the sum of two squares, sum of two squares, cannot be factored, cannot be factored. So we say that a squared plus b squared is prime. Okay, so we need to use the word prime. So if if you have an example that says that says um, let me do this that says factor that says factor x squared plus nine x squared plus nine. Well, notice that is the sum of two squares. Because remember, you can write this as as x squared plus three squared. All right, so the sum of two squares. So in the uh, answer, in the answer, you would use the word prime. All right, so just use the word prime because uh, um, this polynomial cannot be factored, so it's prime. Now remember, it's the same idea. If I asked you to write uh, uh, um, uh, nine as a product of prime numbers. All right, so I can write 9 as 3 times 3, and each of those are prime. But if I asked you to write the prime factorization of, let's say, uh, 
11, you really can't because 11 is already prime. So, um, uh, and you, you can't say 1 times 11 because 1 is not a prime number. Okay, so that's not prime. So that's where the word prime comes from. Um, the prime factorization of 11, you can't, you can't write 11 as a product of two prime numbers. Okay, so we say 11 is prime. Okay, all right, so that's the end of this video. So now you know that the sum of two squares, the sum of two squares cannot be factored. So it's prime.